Well, that certainly has been an awesome trip. You've probably have seen more in the country than most of my fellow Swiss have. Unfortunately, like so many things, it has to come to an end, and that's where we are now. Well, why don't we look back over all you've done as a review? Okay, so where have we been? On this map, car trips will be in green, trains will be in black, and boats will be in blue. And let's look at it from day to day as we travel. Well, as you can see, we pretty well covered the country. In fact, we covered 23 of the 26 cantons and half cantons. We missed Jura, Geneva, and Appenzell, although in Appenzell we were almost there when we were in St. Gallens. This map represents 2,790 kilometers or 1,734 miles. But even that doesn't cover the times we walked in towns and the times we had to go two or three miles to go one mile horizontally on twisty, curvy mountain roads. So we probably covered about 2,000 miles on the ground and obviously it doesn't even include air travel. In the process, we used trains, cars, airplanes, ships, trams, elevators, funiculars, buses, and even our feet a whole lot. We saw cities, mountains, museums, churches, snow, lakes, rivers, canyons, and valleys, streams, small towns, castles, zoos, forest, glaciers, mountain roads, farmland, and a lot of tunnels. We stayed in elegant hotels, Swiss farmhouses that have been renovated, apartments, 100-year-old resorts, Italian villas, chalets, bread and breakfasts. Along the way, we visited six countries, France, Germany, Austria, Italy, Liechtenstein, and of course, Switzerland. And of course, we can't forget the Daniel Schwab family, the Boris Meyer family, and the Darius Kenny family who made this trip possible. Let's look back on some of the memorable scenes one more time before we close.